Well, 343 just released a blog update, which usually brings a lot of great information, but honestly, this blog really just kind of made people more sad. Want to know why? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving another Halo news and informational video. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. It really helps out this video and channel get a better place within the all-famous YouTube algorithm. If you want to stay updated with everything happening in Halo, well, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get into the content here. So 343 just released this blog update and normally people get super excited whenever they have some form of communication coming from 343 talking about some of the inner workings of the game and stuff like that but this one was really just kind of like everything we already knew about the game and but especially talking about the ranked experience but they talk about things they're looking to add into the ranked modes and then we'll go into some community reactions as well so let's dive right into this so really this blog update just kind of explained everything we already understood and knew about the ranking system when it comes to halo infinite that it's based off of mmr and csr kind of working in tandem together and then also on top of that making sure that they keep track of your performance within the game so because it matters how you win not the fact that you won in the first place but there are some interesting bits i'm on the poll out here for you guys the first thing they talk about their initial results from the rank reset that we recently had in Halo Infinite and they said that most people are showing about 150 to 300 points lower in CSR that's about three to six sub ranks within the game which sounds about right I still plays diamond one this time around so I know the max rank was diamond five the place where previously the max rank was diamond one so probably put me in about the right location but i've been able to rank up up to diamond three at this point so far but honestly like the rank reset feels like it hasn't really changed anything you just kind of feel like it's kind of moved everyone down a little bit in their rankings positions because uh the way like you gain csr and rank up or rank down feels the exact same way where it's really more based on your performance and your stats rather than the fact that you won the game and not even like your stats about like the objective or anything that mainly just kill death ratio you gotta finish with a good kd if you're gonna want to rank up which is kind of frustrating with in this game which we get into that a little bit later with the community reactions of this blog post here they do confirm that social modes do affect your mmr your mmr is kind of your really sporadic rank if you want to call it that it's more like how you're playing that day where csr is supposed to be kind of like the average of all these different days that you play as i did say that they leverage how you perform in all game modes within halo infinite to figure out what kind of skill level of a player you are there are some interesting things that they talk about saying uh will there ever be a reconnect feature added to help in instances when i disconnect or have a crash in the game and they respond back saying we've also seen this request pop up quite a bit too we like the idea but we'll need to do additional investigations before we can make any commitments basically saying we hear you but uh, no guarantees anytime soon which is kind of a shame i don't really you know, it sucks when you disconnect or when a game crashes because obviously the game's stability is in question right now it's not exactly the best situation but you know the way the games work in halo infinite that they last maybe like 15 minutes at the most and by the time you connect back in after a crash the game is basically over it just sucks when you lose that csr so it really hurts right there but a really cool thing to look in that hopefully add in later on is Onyx is the highest rank right now. Will there ever be a champ rank again like we had in Halo 5? Saying we hear this feedback loud and clear and we'll be adding it in a future season down the road. Similar to the reconnect feature above, we still need to scope out the work for this before we can commit to anything, which is like, all you're doing is like taking the top 200 players and putting a different kind of emblem next to them. Like you can literally find the information right now I don't see like why I like need like development by committee in a way to get this feature in. It just seems like that's kind of ridiculous almost in a way that like just to add in champ rank, we like, have to go to like external websites like Halo Tracker to see like who are the top players in Halo. That's a really cool like in-game thing that they had in Halo 5. For some reason it was removed in Halo Infinite. We don't know why. But it seems like after reading this blog, it's actually kind of more depress the community rather than actually make them feel better about Halo. Let me show you why. Halo Pro Snipe Down, one of the best players out there, put out this long post kind of responding to the blog update and basically saying how this blog that we just read really didn't address any of the issues that are currently experiencing with players and their frustrations with the ranking system right here. Basically saying that he has to carry players because, you know, he gets thrown in the lobbies where people are like gold platinum players, which he's like one of the best out there, high tier Onyx. They shouldn't be playing with them, but to kind of give up that 50-50 win rate that 343 shoots for every time they 
do some matchmaking. So it's a really frustrating experience in how it focuses so much on your kill death ratio to rank up that it doesn't really feel like you're doing the purpose of trying to win. You're trying to stat then also win, which is really a odd thing to kind of do when it comes to your ranking system. I mean, even uh, Unishrike himself even replied to this and that they are consistently, well, will be adjusting things around, which is good to hear that, but the way these updates are coming around so slowly when it comes to Halo Infinite, I don't want to hold my breath to seeing these changes come in anytime soon. Another prominent Halo Pro, Snakebite, also said this, saying, one day I'll read a blog post and not just get more sad for the game I love one day, which, I mean, it's kind of true. Like, if you guys want to read this whole thing, I'll have it linked in the description as I always do for my sources. Uh, but really, there isn't much to look into. It basically just said like, yeah, this is how the rank system works that you already knew how it works. And we might add a join in feature and we might add in champ ranks later on. When that happens, have no idea. And this is kind of stacking on previous tweets from other prominent Halo pros, Renegade, one of the best out there, arguably one of the best, or not the best out there, saying, I'm sorry right now, but Halo's just boring and they need new content. This still feels like a beta. The best in the game, Lucid just says, Halo Infinite and 3 for 3 are making me sad. That's all, which is like, dude, that's just like the so simple to the point. It even makes me a little sad. And from a couple days ago, Snipe down here even kind of roasted 343's rank system pretty hard here, saying, I have every fiber of my self control to not come on to here on the Twitter and roast the absolute out of the poor excuse for her ranking system in Halo Infinite. Uses every day and it just makes me so sad. Just sadness and depression all the way through when it comes to Halo, man. It's just, it's in a tough state right now, man. Like, we, were, we thought we were going to get like this really cool like live service kind of game but what we ended up really kind of getting was like almost felt like a typical release of a halo game but without that live service being thrown in there which with some more microtransactions when it comes to the store so uh we're just really kind of waiting around to see like what's going to happen with season two and stuff like that but right now man it's just it's real sage if you want to call it in some kind of way like that i mean you even have the most prominent pros out there turning on this game like man this game's stale this game's getting boring this ranking system does not work out well the main thing is just like you know you have no control over who you match right or if people quit out of games and stuff like that i've noticed that when someone on the other team quits that like we basically gain no csr because you know they had a team enemy player quit which is really frustrating because as a person who does well in games sometimes when they quit out it's like man you guys completely screwed me over ranking up and stuff like that or when i am trying to play and do well like I focus so much on statting that like I don't really focus too much on the objective. The objective is more kind of a side thing that I try to accomplish while playing ranked where I'm like focusing more on trying to stat because if I don't stat well on games that I win, I'm not going to rank up. But if I did the exact same kind of performance, but loss, I'm sure as hell gonna be losing that CSR. It just creates like a improper incentive. And I understand where 343 is coming from where it's more about how you win and who you win games against rather than just winning in general but i think that just winning a game should really be enough for you to feel like you kind of rank up and stuff like that at least like yeah gain at least a decent amount of csr from my experience it seems like i'm just like getting these little tiny bits of csr as i like win games but if i lose one game it's just boom right back down like it's having this never-ending cycle of just having to constantly just fight an uphill battle of just trying to get up to a rank where i feel like I'm at as a player. So when you have your most die hard players out there, your pros also dogging on the game, man, things are just rough. And I kind of brought this up in a previous video as well, uh, talking about like how the tactical ops event being the last new event that we'll see in Halo Infinite until season two, which is in two months. So if you thought we're in some dark times right now, just wait, you know, you gotta wait until the next two months and then you'll be seeing some real nasty comments and tweets and, oh gosh, I'm I, I'm afraid. But if you're like me and want to keep up with everything going on with Halo, well, make sure you tap subscribe, guys. If you're new to the channel and missed any content from me recently, check out this place right here for all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.